Royal Air Force Station Wadisham or more simply RAF Wadisham is a former Royal Air Force Station located in East Anglia just outside the village of Wadisham, south of Stowmarket in Suffolk, England. During the Cold War it was a major frontline air force base, operating quick reaction alert, before closing in 1993 and is now operated by the British Army as Wadisham Airfield. RAF Wadisham opened on April 5, 1939 as a medium bomber station, the squadrons there being equipped with Bristol Blenheim bombers. Part of NO. 2 Group, NO. 107 Squadron and NO. 110 Squadron were stationed there on the outbreak of war as NO. 83 Wing. On September 4, 1939, just 29 hours after the declaration of war, bombers from Wadisham took off on the first attack of the war, against enemy shipping in Wilhelmshaven Harbor. In September 1942, the base was handed over to the United States Army Air Forces. May 27, 1944 Aerial photograph of RAF Wadisham The control tower and airfield code are in front of the 4C type hangars on the right. Aerial photograph of the Osaf 4th Strategic Air Depot at RAF Wadisham looking north, April 3, 1946 Wadisham was assigned Osaf designation Station 377 and Station 470 and work began on building concrete runways with the intention of adapting the airfield for heavy bomber use. However, plans were apparently changed when it was evident that there would be sufficient heavy bomber airfields available for the OSOF, and it was decided that Wadisham would remain an air depot and also house a fighter unit. Work ceased on the runways leaving only the EW with a concrete surface and short stretches of the other two. The main SW knee runway was finished off with steel matting while the remaining NWSE runway continued to be grass surfaced for most of its length. 68th Observation Group Between October and December 1942 The 68th Observation Group operated the Bell P-39D Air Cobra from Wadisham. 4th Strategic Air Depot The 4th Strategic Air Depot serviced many types of aircraft but, by late 1943, was concentrating on fighter types. An additional technical area with four T2 hangars, some 18 hard stands and a taxiway loop joining the airfield perimeter track, were constructed on the south side of the airfield. An engineering complex and temporary buildings was built around this area, chiefly in the village of Nejingtai. The 4th Strategic Air Depot installation was officially named Hitcham, which was actually the name of a village two miles to the northwest of the site, to differentiate it from the fighter station using the same airstrip. The base was, by 1944, responsible for the maintenance of all American fighters in the UK. 479th Fighter Group along with the Depot Maintenance Mission. Wadisham also hosted an 8th Air Force Fighter Group, the 479th Fighter Group, arriving from Santa Maria off, California, on May 15, 1944. The group was part of the 65th Fighter Wing of the 8th Fighter Command. Aircraft of the group had no cowling color markings as did other 8th Air Force fighter groups and were marked only with colored tail rudders. The initial inventory of the P-38s, many of which were hand-me-downs from other groups painted in olive drab camouflage, used geometric symbols on the tail to identify squadrons. White for camouflaged aircraft and black for unpainted lightnings. The group consisted of the following squadrons, the 479th FG escorted heavy bombers during operations against targets on the continent strafed targets of opportunity, and flew fighter-bomber, area and counter-air patrol missions. Engaged primarily in escort activities and fighter sweeps until the Normandy invasion in June 1944. North American P-51B-5 Mustang 42-7040 from the 434th Fighter Squadron in June 1945. This P-51B was previously assigned to the 361st FG at RAF Bodisham and was a replacement for low-hour P-51s reassigned from the group. The group patrolled the beachhead during the invasion, strafed and dive bomb troops, bridges, locomotives, railway cars, barges, vehicles, airfields, gun emplacements, flak towers, ammunition dumps, power stations and radar sites while on escort or fighter bomber missions as the Allies drove across France during the summer and fall of 1944. The unit flew area patrols to support the breakthrough at saint Lo in July and the airborne attack on the Netherlands in September. The 479th Fighter Group received a Distinguished Unit Citation for the destruction of numerous aircraft on airfields in France on 18th of August and 5th of September and during aerial battle near Munster on 26th of September. The unit continued escort and fighter-bomber activities from October to mid-December 1944. It converted to P-51s between 10 September and 1 of October, 
using both types on missions until conversion was completed. The group participated in the Battle of the Bulge by escorting bombers to and from targets in the battle area and by strafing transportation targets while on escort duty. From February to April 1945 it continued to fly escort missions, but also provided area patrols to support the airborne attack across the Rhine in March. The unit returned to Camp Kilmer, New Jersey, in November 1945, and was inactivated in December 1945. Among the notable pilots of the 479th were its 2nd Group Commander, Colonel Hubert Zemp, and an ace, Major Robin Olds. Legacy The United States Air Force 479th Tactical Fighter Wing at George AFB, California, was bestowed the lineage, honors and history of the World War II USA 479th Fighter Group. The 479th TFW deployed personnel and aircraft to Key West NAS, Florida, in response to the 1962 Cuban Missile Crisis and deployed squadrons frequently to Southeast Asia during the Vietnam War. Later, the 479th Tactical Training Wing at Holloman AFB, New Mexico, provided pilot training. The 479th Fighter Group at Moody AFB, Georgia, and since 2009 at NAS Pensacola, Florida, currently as the 479th Flying Training Group. 1946-1975 and 1946-1976, the base was returned to the Royal Air Force. No. 266 Squadron, with the Gloucester Meteor F.3, was stationed there from 4 November to December 5, 1946 and from 4 January to April 16, 1947. The Air Ministry Servicing Development Unit formed here on January 1, 1947 with a number of aircraft including the Avro York I, Hawker Tempest V, Gloucester Meteor F.4 and T.7, Avro Anson T.20 and the de Havilland Vampire F.3. The squadron disbanded on June 1, 1950 at RAF Wittering. In the mid-1950s, the Black Arrows Display Team 111 Squadron operated out of Wattisham, flying Hawker Hunters. English Electric Lightning F.1A of the Wattisham Target Facilities flight in 1971. In 1949, new runways were laid, and the following year no. 152 Squadron arrived with Meteor NF.12 Night Fighters, in 1954, Hawker Hunters, from No. 257 and 263 Squadrons, the UK's next generation fighter after the Meteor, arrived to secure Wattisham's future as a major fighter station. The station commander, Group Captain Edwards, had artificial legs, like Douglas Bader before him. The wing commander was one of the four Soare brothers, all of which held senior RAF posts. The officer commanding No. 257 Squadron was Major Howard E. Tanner, a USAF exchange pilot. There was also a station flight which received and serviced visiting aircraft and also had its own aircraft for various purposes. These included a de Havilland Vampire, a de Havilland Dragon Repeat and a Hunter used by the station flight commander. The Black Arrows aerobatic display team flying the Hunter moved to Wattisham from RAF North wheeled with air displays becoming a regular feature from 1959. In the late 1950s, the Cold War began to develop and so the RAF began to develop Britain's air defence. So, in 1960, the station was equipped with the very latest in British fighter aircraft, the English Electric Lightning. The combination of the capabilities of this plane and Wattisham's location near the East Anglian coast was very suitable for countering the threats faced from the east. The airfield quickly became one of, if not the frontline airbase in the UK. So throughout the Cold War Wattisham operated its QRA. Or quick reaction alert sheds where live-armed jets were on standby at all times and it was also a major blacktop diversion runway. 1976-1992 On February 25, 1976, 13 McDonnell Douglas Phantom FGR.2S of No. 23 Squadron arrived to replace the Lightnings. No. 56 Squadron followed on 9th of July, arriving with their Phantoms from RAF Koningsby. From Wattisham, the Phantoms continued the role of playing a major part in defending Britain's airspace which largely involved intercepting the Soviet Tupolev 295 bear aircraft, as part of quick reaction alert. Between 4 November and early December 1976, no. 23 Squadron deployed to RAF Luka, Malta, for an armament practice camp. No. 56 Squadron deployed for an APC at RAF Luka between 13 October and November 1977. No. 56 Squadron McDonnell Douglas Phantom FGR.2XT903 at RAF Wattisham, 1992. On June 1, 1979, 
Wadisham based Phantom FGR.2XV424 from No. 56 Squadron was used to re enact the transatlantic flight of Alcock and Brown, crewed by pilot squadron leader A. J. N. Tony Alcock and navigator flight lieutenant W. N. Norman Brown. Following the Falklands War, it was decided to base Phantoms on the Falklands Islands. In March 1983, no. 23 Squadron relocated from RAF Wadisham to Port Stanley Airport, leaving the Firebirds as the sole base squadron. On October 19, 1984, no. 74 Squadron stood up at RAF Wadisham equipped with the unique McDonnell Douglas F-4J Phantom. Delivered in three batches, the squadron was brought up to full strength of 15 jets on January 5, 1985. In 1990, the options for change defense review laid out the plan to withdraw the Phantoms from RAF service. In January 1991, the Phantom F-4J was withdrawn from use, with the Tigers converting over to the Phantom FGR.2. The disbandment of No. 228 Ocu on January 31, 1991 at RAF Lewhurst, saw the reformation of the Phantom training flight as part of No. 74 Squadron, operating until December 31, 1991. No. 56 Squadron disbanded on July 31, 1992, Reforming as the Panavia Tornado F.3 Ocu at RAF Koningsby. No. 74 Squadron continued to operate at RAF Wadisham until disbanding on October 1, 1992. RAF Wadisham's future hung in the balance as a major air force base and it was decided that with the Cold War threat gone it was no longer needed by the RAF. Wadisham stood down as a fighter base on October 31, 1992. The station was transferred to the control of the British Army in September 1993. The Army Air Corps soon moved in and it rapidly became a major Army airfield. The Royal Air Force returned to operate Westland Sea King search and rescue helicopters on the site of the former QRA hangars. This article incorporates public domain material from the Air Force Historical Research Agency website http colon slash slash www. Afra. AF. Mil slash. Thanks for watching.